Hi, and welcome back. We have the friends of the WRC, Colleen Barrett and Joanne Bowers. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming. Our Thank pleasure. you for having us. So the first step is, if I can ask you, Colleen, mm -hmm. the WRC, what is it that this organization does for our community? Well, it is actually a, an organization that's been in existence for 45 years now and they provide services to those that are survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault here in the North County. And so the Friends, this is an auxiliary, auxiliary group, group. Mm -hmm. and what do you do on behalf of this organization? Well, our sole function is to raise funds and we provide things for the children that reside in the transitional housing and at the shelter, and that is to um, help bring their lives back into somewhat of a normal state, to, give them things that our children normally associate as everyday opportunities. So Halloween costumes, um, Valentine's excursions. excursions and, uh -huh. Yes, different so, things, summer camp. So the friends, they try to bring back some, some normalcy Norm mm -hmm. in a very tense? Disruptive. D disruptive yes. environment mm -hmm. in uh -huh. some cases. Uprooted from their household and right. things they may have witnessed. Right. Mm -hmm. Not so great. Yeah. Right. So, Joanne, can you speak to a little bit about like the Halloween costumes? In mm -hmm. fact, I think you made some some raise some money for a play. Was it playground, mm -hmm. play yard? Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little so bit? At the transitional housing, which is uh, 23 apartments that is available to the women and their children um, as they have stepped away from a, to be it a domestic violence mm -hmm. incident mm -hmm. or a repeated incident. But they're rebuilding their lives there, and this is the opportunity to bring their family into a different environment. Mm -hmm. And at the transitional housing, there's a playground that is their only outdoor space. And it was in kind of sad disrepair, and we, our monies we've raised, mm -hmm. we went and we placed toys, um, just generally gave it a big facelift so that the children are proud of where they are mm -hmm. and can have some pleasure and be outside and not be reluctant to go outside because it's kind of shabby. Right. So it's lifted it tremendously. It's right. very nice. This is actually the first year that uh, once we finished the renovation that they've actually invited friends from school over to play. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that's a big because normally in, in, in well they never they never would invite individuals yeah. to come play they would play in the area but mm -hmm. they wouldn't invite others so this is the first time once it was finished that they had people yeah. come visit so it's our great pleasure to witness that and know that mm -hmm. um, our efforts and the monies we raise and the people that support our efforts mm -hmm. has gone to a very specific and and that's awesome yeah, yeah. happy place happy yep. environment for them. Well, and speaking of fundraisers that mm -hmm. help to create these the play yards and rebuild these kind of things, mm -hmm. these programs, Colleen, can you speak a little bit? You had a, a you have a annual fundraiser. Yes, a, a, yes we a, do. Every year we have a, a luncheon. It's called Half a Heart, mm -hmm. and that's where we raise the majority of our funds so that we can go ahead and and go forward and and make changes. And um, we go out, ask for people to attend. We ask for sponsorships here in the community. And last year we were able to raise $9,000 at that event. Oh, fantastic. And so do you have a goal for this year? <laughs> yes. We're hoping for 10. We're pushing it just a little bit. It can be more. Yes, yes. it can. We're, we're open to accepting more. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. So what, what can someone do? If you can speak a little bit of your personal experience, Joanne, mm -hmm. how did you become a friend and how does someone become a friend of WRC? Oh, of course. Yeah. I became um, involved with Friends of WRC and my interest in supporting a grassroots effort where there wasn't overhead, you know, mm -hmm. that if I raise $5, $5 is going to get spent directly for the benefit of the, uh, the children in this case. So oh, about 13 years ago, right shortly after its inception, I started participating with fundraising for Friends of WRC. So, so how great. does one become involved, ah, Colleen? How yes. can one get become involved with this? Well, we do have a location on the website for the agency, which is, I know that you have that information, which will be going out. Mm -hmm. And they are welcome to um, 
join us. Uh-huh. Sign Going up for the membership. website. Mm-hmm. You Sign know. up for membership, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. someone from our um, board will contact us. Well, I want to thank you both for coming in today, mm-hmm. the friends of the WRC.